As I make this video, Brisbane is in the middle of a major weather event. I'm not sure if you can see, but it is pouring outside and it has been for days and days and days. The ground is absolutely saturated and then the rain just keeps coming and now Brisbane is flooding. Almost 30,000 homes have lost their electricity so far. As of one minute ago, they've announced that all of the trains in the city are going to come to a stop and uh, even the airport, some of the runways are underwater. So this is a major flooding event that's happening. And so I just thought I'd share this quick video just to share one tool that can help you keep safe if you're involved in flooding here in Brisbane. Because life goes on, we still need to get around, but roads are flooded. And so far we've lost six lives and many of them have been from people when their cars have gotten caught in floodwaters. Maybe they've been trying to cross in an unsafe way or it's just been flash flooding that's come up unexpectedly. So it's really good to be aware of the situation and where the flooding is occurring and which roads have been shut off so that you can find alternate ways of getting around when this kind of situation happens. So let me show you this online tool that's free to use and can help you just get more of a sense of what's happening around around the city when the floods happen as they are right now. Now, before I show you the website, there's one more thing that you really should be aware of because it's another risk in this kind of weather here in Brisbane and people have died in the past because they weren't aware of it. They're predicting strong winds tonight and when you combine this amount of rain with strong winds, what you have is a lot of tree failures. So trees just basically fall over and get uprooted and people have been killed by falling trees. So that's just another thing you should be aware of, especially if you, you know, you want to go out and see the floodwaters, uh, probably safest to avoid that um, because that's actually what people were doing in the past when trees fell on them and they died. So just a risk factor to be aware of, but let's look at this tool. So what I have open at the moment is the Department of Transport and Main Roads website, and they have a live interactive map where they actually show any road closures, delays, things like that. At the moment, as you can see, there is a lot of flash flooding and also some long-term flooding that is shown. And you can also see which parts of different roads are actually blocked off and closed so that you can plan your route and also just stay safe from those floodwaters. It's pretty intuitive. You don't need me to explain it. You can just get on there uh, and try it out yourself. I've put the link in the video description but this is actually a really great tool to have under your belt when you're dealing with the situation like we have right now in Brisbane at the moment. Now, of course, my video on the weather, which is linked up here, you'll actually see also the interactive flood map, which is great for planning if you want to find a place to live and know what areas are likely to get impacted by floods or not. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. But if you're actually in the midst of a flood, they're not going to be nearly as useful as this Transport and Main Roads website. So just a quick one that I wanted to share that I thought would be useful. Now, after things settle down, after this kind of rain, it would actually be a really great time to check out JC Slaughter Falls because most of the time they're bone dry. But after rain like this, it's gonna be flowing and it's gonna be looking pretty impressive, like in this video. So definitely check that video out and hopefully it'll inspire you to go and check out JC Slaughter Falls and maybe Simpson Falls as well because now is the time. Uh, well, at least after the floods clear and all of that. But uh, yeah, check that out and I will see you in the next video.